Good evening. My name is Jonathan Bauer and I'm the priest in charge here at St Nick's. And on behalf of the ministry team and all of us here, welcome. Wherever you're watching this service from, thank you for being with us. Before we begin our worship, I invite you to take a moment to intentionally open your heart and your mind to God's spirit and God's word, that we might encounter God afresh this night. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Psalm 11 In the Lord I take refuge. How can you say to me, flee like a bird to the mountains? For look, the wicked bend the bow. They have fitted their arrow to the string to shoot in the dark at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his gaze examines humankind. The Lord tests the righteous and the wicked, and his soul hates the lover of violence. On the wicked he will rain coals of fire and sulphur. A scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Psalm 12 Help, O Lord, for there is no longer anyone who is godly. The faithful have disappeared from humankind. They utter lies to each other with flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips, the tongue that makes great boasts, those who say, with our tongues we will prevail, our lips are our own, who is our master? Because the poor are despoiled, because the needy groan, I will raise, rise up, says the Lord, I will place them in the safety for which they long. The promises of the Lord are promises that are pure, silver refined in a furnace on the ground, purified seven times. You, O Lord, will protect us. You will guard us from this generation forever. On every side the wicked prowl, as vileness is exalted among humankind. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Old Testament lesson is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Afterward, Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and said, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast to me, in the wilderness. But Pharaoh said, 
Who is the Lord that I should heed his voice and let Israel go? I do not know the Lord, and moreover, I will not let Israel go. Then they said, The God of the Hebrews has met with us. Let us go, we pray, a three days journey into the wilderness and sacrifice to the Lord our God, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with a sword. But the king of Egypt said to them, Moses and Aaron, why do you take the people away from their work? Get to their burdens. And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land are now many, and you make them rest from their burdens. The same day Pharaoh commanded the taskmasters of the people and their foremen, You shall no longer give the people straw to make bricks, as heretofore. Let them gather straw for themselves. But the number of bricks which they made heretofore, you shall lay upon them. You shall by no means lessen it, for they are idle. Therefore they cry, Let us go and offer a sacrifice to our God. Let heavier work be laid upon the men, that they may labour at it, and pay no regard to lying words. So the taskmasters and the foremen of the people went out and said to the people, Thus says Pharaoh, you, I will not give you straw. Go yourselves and get your straw wherever you can find it, but your work will not be lessened in the least. So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Egypt to gather stubble for straw. The taskmasters were urgent, saying, Complete your work, your daily task, as when there was straw. And the foremen of the people of Israel, whom Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, they were beaten, and they were asked, Why have you not done all your task and making bricks today as hitherto? Then the foremen of the people of Israel came and cried to Pharaoh, Why do you deal thus with your servants? No straw is given to your servants, yet they say to us, Make bricks, and behold, your servants are beaten, but the fault is in your own people. But he said, You are idle, you are idle. Therefore say, Let us go and sacrifice to the Lord. Go now and work, for no straw will be given to you, yet you shall deliver the same number of bricks. The foremen of the people of Israel saw that they were in an evil plight when they said, You shall by no means lessen your daily number of bricks. They met Moses and Aaron, who were waiting for them, as they came forth from the Pharaoh. And they said to Moses and Aaron, the Lord look upon you and judge, because you have made us offensive in the sight of Pharaoh and his servants, and have put a sword in their hand to kill us. Then Moses turned again to the Lord and said, O Lord, why hast thou done evil to this people? Why didst thou ever send me? For since I came to Pharaoh to speak in thy name, he has done evil to this people, and thou hast not delivered thy people at all. But the Lord said to Moses, Now you shall see what I will do to Pharaoh, for with a strong hand he will send them out. Yea, with a strong hand he will drive them out of his land. Here endeth the first lesson. The Magnificat, the Song of Mary. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
The New Testament lesson is taken from St Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 3. If anyone thinks he has reason for confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew, born of the Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as refuse in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, nor having righteousness of my own based on law, but that which through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in his death that, if possible, I may obtain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this, or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brethren, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press onward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Here endeth the New Testament lesson. The Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. 
Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. We beseech thee, almighty God, look upon the hearty desires of thy humble servants, and stretch forth the right hand of thy majesty to be our defence against all our enemies, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made, and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. O Spirit of God, who speaks to our spirits, created in your own likeness, penetrate into the depths of our spirits, into the storehouse of memories remembered and forgotten, into the depths of being, the very springs of personality, and cleanse and forgive, making us whole and holy, that we may be yours and live in the new being of Christ our Lord. Amen. And as our children prepare to return to school, we pray for all who work in care for children, for those who work in education and formation. Give them special refreshment and the patience and cheerfulness which they need to do their work. O Lord, bless our schools, that working together and playing together, we may learn to serve you and to serve one another. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our world and its many needs. Have mercy, O God, on our distracted and suffering world, on the nations perplexed and divided. Give to us and to all people a new spirit of repentance and amendment. Direct the counsels of all who are working for the removal of the causes of strife and for the promotion of goodwill, and hasten the coming of your kingdom of peace and love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who by making the evening to succeed the day has bestowed the gift of sleep on human weakness, Grant, we beseech you, that while we enjoy your blessings, we may acknowledge him from whom they come, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
And so we commend ourselves, one another and all those for whom we pray to God's gracious keeping. As we pray together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost to be with us all evermore. Amen.